This video will show you how to calculate horizontal contours and vertical contours. For horizontal contours you need to have either a grid and or contour points. So click on the grid and start entering the polygon area for a grid. However, be aware that you need to set the grid in the main group. So don't enter a grid in a group because then you will not see any results. Enter the grid in the main group. Grid is a polygon area and within this polygon area you can set a grid spacing between the grid points 50 by 50 meters. Then we can calculate the grid, start calculation and after the calculation is finished you can show the noise contours as interpolated noise contours. Ok, I've now used a 50 by 50 meter resolution between the grid points but suppose you want to have more accurate contours close by the sources. In that case you can select all the sources. So let's go to the search and select and say I want to select all the point sources. Then you can go to the batch create item, contour points, and then you can create items, uh, sorry contour points close by your sources. And these are done in rows parallel rows from the item and between the points. I will show you how it's done. So I click on generate and then according to the settings these items are contour points and uh, they are also used for interpolating the noise contours. So I now I need to calculate again because I've added contour points and then I can show my noise contours again and now the values of the contour points are also used for interpolation of your noise contours. So with the combination of horizontal grids and contour points you can decide where you want to have a more accurate noise contours. Ok, that shows you the calculation of horizontal grid. Now let's show you the calculation of vertical grids. In this case I want to calculate noise contours on the facade of these three high raised buildings. I select the high raised buildings and I select create parallel items. In this case I want to create a vertical grid around these parallel items on one meter distance, around these buildings on one meter outside. And then on the grid itself I want to have it 3 by 3 meters. So what happened now is that you see nicely parallel to these buildings a vertical grid has been created. And if you look at the 3D view you see that all these calculation points, the grid points are also created parallel to these buildings. And now when I do a calculation, start calculation, all the results will also be calculated on the vertical grid points and then when the calculation is done you can also show your interpolated noise contours on the facade. So I activate my contours again because activation of the contours not only activate Acti uh, activate the horizontal contours but also the vertical contours. The vertical contours can only be shown in the 3D view. So you go to the view 3D view and now you also see the horizontal contours on the facade, uh, the facades of these buildings. Thank you for your attention.